Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's episode, we are going to talk about the LCD display and we'll create a cool project. We can read the temperature and the humidity and display it using the LCD display. So you see that the temperature is uh, 36 Celsius and the humidity is 35%. But before we get started, make sure to watch my previous video about the DHT sensor and how to hook it up to the Raspberry Pi Pico. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And let's dive right into it. To create this project, you're going to need a few components. First, you're going to need the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. We're going to use the DHT sensor and we're going to add the LCD display. So this one uh, comes with a module that is called I2C, which allows us to control it using uh, two pins, SDA and SEL. So I'm going to start by wiring the DHT sensor. I'm going to hook it up to the pin number 16. As I said, we have three uh, pins, the ground, the VCC and the data. And I'm going to start by connecting the ground to the ground of the board, which is this one, the third one from this side. Next, we have the data. I'm going to use the pin number 16. And finally, we have the VCC. So this sensor works with 3.3 volts, which is the pin number 5 from this corner. And there you go, it is powered up. Now let's write the code and get the temperature and the humidity. So we've already talked about this. If you have already watched my recent video, you could skip to this time. First, we're going to import the pin from the machine library using from machine, import the pin class. Also, we're going to need the, the sleep command. Next, we're going to create the DHT object. But before that, we have to import the library. Import DHT. This library is built in. And we're going to create the DHT object or let's call it sensor equals dht dot and we have the class dht11 in here we're going to pass in the pin it is the pin number 16 next we're going to add our while loop while true so that we can get the temperature and the humidity first i'm going to wait for two seconds because the sensor needs a little bit of time to get the temperature and the humidity then we have to call the function sensor dot measure so that we can measure the new temperature and the humidity values. Next, I'm going to uh, put the temperature inside a T variable, or let's call it temp equals sensor. To get the temperature, we use temperature, and we're going to add the humidity variable, and we use sensor dot humidity. So these are built-in functions that are inside the DHT library. <clears throat> you don't have to care about it. And let's uh, use print. To print the temperature and I'm going to print the humidity for now and hit run the first value is the temperature and the humidity is 40 percent now we want to display this information using our LCD display it's really easy to hook up so we have four wires the ground I'm going to connect it to the ground of the board we could also use the G and D pin from here that is connected to the DHT sensor but for the VCC it is recommended to use 5 volts because this needs a little bit of power and the 5 volt pin is actually labeled VBUS which is this pin I'm gonna connect it to the 5 volt pin and yeah, it is working next we have the SDA and the SEL pins when you look at the pinout diagram you will see that we have a few SDA and SEL pins some of these are labeled I2C1 and we have I2C0. Uh, For me, I'm going to use the SDA uh, number 0 and the SEL number 0. We're going to specify that under the code. Let's connect the SDA to the GPO pin number 0. So we have SDA. It's the yellow wire. Last but not least, we have the SEL. That goes to the SEL of the microcontroller. I like the DHT library. In order to use the LCD display, we have to uh, import our library or we have to create the files right here inside the Raspberry Pi Pico because it's not built in. You see here we have two sections. We have the computer and we have the Raspberry Pi Pico memory. To make sure that the code is running inside the Pico, we have to save the main code inside it by going to File, Save and make sure to select the Pico microcontroller. But first we have to stop it. 
and use file save. But the Pico needs to recognize the main file. That's why you have to name it like this, main.py extension and hit OK. Now we're going to add two more libraries or two more files. So the code is on GitHub. I'm going to add the links to these two files under the video description. The first one is lcd underscore API. I'm going to copy its code using this button and go here and create the file. Or we can go to File, New, Control V, then Control S. The same thing, make sure to save it under the Pico uh, microcontroller. And here we're going to call it LCD underscore API dot pi, then OK. The second file is uh, Pico I2C underscore LCD. The same thing, let's open it up, copy it, create the file. Control V, then Control S, and it is called Pico underscore I square C underscore LCD. Now, to be able to use the LCD display, we can add our LCD object under the main file, but first we have to import the library. So, this is the main library. We are going to import a class from it. And if you open it up, you see that we have this class I2C LCD to declare it. Under main, I'm going to use from echo underscore I square C underscore LCD import the LCD I2C. I think C is lowercase. Make sure to copy the same class name. And from the machine library, we're going to use the I2C uh, class so that we can uh, store the information about the SDA and the SEL pins. So I'm going to add comma. And this class is called I2C. It's under the machine library. So this kind of display has some kind of an address that we need to get and put it inside the object. To do so, I'm going to create an object and call it I2C equals i square c this takes in the parameters the first one is the sda uh, number so we're using i2c0 because we have i2c1 i'm gonna use zero then we're gonna specify the sda pin using sda equals pin and in here we have to pass in the gpo pin number it is zero the second or the third parameter is the sel equals the pin number one and finally the frequency i think for most cases you have to use this value 400 uh, kilohertz to check that our pico is recognizing the i2c uh, module i'm going to use a print command and use i2c dot scan and i'm going to use the address at the index zero because you could use more than one uh, module and hit run again. Yeah, we have 63. That means our LCD is working. Now to create the actual object that we're gonna use to display the text, I'm gonna call it LCD equals, we're gonna use this class, which takes in a few parameters. To check for the parameters, you could go under here, under init, the first one is the I2C object, then we're going to add the address and the size of the LCD. First, we have to pass in I2C, which is this object. And the address, we get it by using I2C.scan at the index 0. So this display comes with uh, two rows and 16 columns. So I'm going to pass in a 2 by a 16. If you have another size, make sure to specify it. And finally, we are going to print the temperature and the humidity using the LCD display. To do that, we have a few other commands. The first one is lcd.clear. So we need to make sure to clear the display each time and print the new values. To do that, we use lcd.putstr that takes in a string, which is a list of characters. I'm going to write a temp colon 
and in front of it we are going to print the temperature value but the temperature value is uh, a value we need to convert it to a string by using str and pass in temp next to it I'm gonna add the uh, celsius which is the unit and in the next line we are going to print the humidity to do that we need to move to the next line by using lcd dot move to underscore two we're gonna go to the column number zero and the row number one which is the second row then we're gonna print the humidity by using the same command here we're gonna write humidity and we're gonna pass in the humidity value and the unit is the percent so I think that's pretty much it let's give it a try we have a mistake line uh, 17 <clears throat> so put str takes one string to concatenate different strings we have to use plus same thing right here and let's run it again and there you go we have a temperature and a humidity device that works without the computer so the temperature is 37 uh, celsius the humidity is 36 percent you could put this device inside your home to read the temperature and the humidity of the area. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a question or comment, make sure to put it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.